a meetup and just talk cock? You what? <laughs> Hey everyone, I'm Godfrey and I'm from the UK. Hi, I'm Sefi and I'm from the UK. Hi everyone, I'm Adrian from Singapore. Hi, I'm Ellie and I'm from Singapore. And today we're going to be guessing each other's slang. Oh, I have no idea of any Singaporean slang. Hi. So just a little context. Singaporean slangs, right? Because we have a few races in our country. Yeah. So some slangs are just like a mix. The origins are like a little bit from here, a little bit from there. I like that. Yeah, you ready? I'm ready, I'm so Okay. You ready for the first one? Yep. Three, two, one. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> three, three, two, one. Yeah. Skinned. I use this on a daily basis because I am. <laughs> I like skins. The UK oh. uh, TV program. Okay. At first I thought it was like, I'm skinned. Like skinny and fit. It looks like the word skinny. So does it mean like, oh, I haven't eaten all day, I'm skinned. The, the sentence you said made sense, but it's not what you think it means. Hey, why I don't you try use it in a sentence? I'll try to guess. I'm not going to be able to do anything today because I'm skinned. I'm so busy. <laughs> oh, like I'm broke. Yes. My soul has left my body. I'm skinned. Yeah, I, I have no money. Yes. Oh, you got it. <laughs> Correct. That's right. This is kind of like a Hokkien term. Walawe. Walawe. <laughs> you actually sound quite correct. Walawe. Yes. Eh, eh. Like, allow it. Stop. Oh, what? Like, oh. No. Kinda? What a shame. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is it? Give me a sentence. Walawe. Now what time really? We're supposed to meet at 1 30. It's really 2. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Could I be like, oh, walawe, they sold out of curry puff. Yes. I mean, damn. Yeah, ish. That's so long for damn though, isn't it? <laughs> no, it's just three syllables. Oh. It can be used in anger or oh. sadness, but it literally means like, my wa is like Hokkien for me, ma, me my. Mm. And then lao is like my father. <laughs> my father? I feel like there's no one English term oh. to like define it, but it's more so like a figure of speech. But we don't really think about it as I'm scolding my dad. Based on like the direct translation, it sounds very insulting. However, I think Singaporeans use it on like a daily basis. Next word, three, two, one. Muggy. Muggy? Muggy? Sounds like a dog's name. Muggy. <laughs> You're a muggle. No, we're not, we're not Harry Potter. You're shady. Yes. Oh, well done. You're using a sentence. Okay, yeah. are you familiar with the show Love Island? Yes. Let's say someone called Joe uh -huh. gets with someone called Sophie, right? Sophie gets with someone called James. Oh. And then Joe's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm feeling so mugged off right now. Like, I feel cheated. Yeah, like taken advantage of. If someone is muggy, they're considered shady. So like you don't trust them or they do things behind your back kind of thing. Oh dear Lord. And if you are a victim of a muggy person, <laughs> you've been mugged off. One, two, three. Rabak. Rabak? Rabak? Yeah, Rabak. Am I pronouncing it right? Okay, I think in Singaporean, like, Singlish slang, you just have to go downwards. Rabak. Yeah. So it's kind of like a Malay term. I think it means it's rubbish. Oh, okay, I would say you're quite close. It's hard because I'm not, like, seeing any terms here that logistically... You give me a... Okay, sentence, sentence. Yes. Yesterday, do you see, like, the niece at the club? <gasps> Rabak, yeah. Oh, she was a mess. Or, like, what? Wow, the food, ah? Uh? Rabak. So it's rubbish? Like, she was... Yeah, she like was all over the place. She went all out. And they're wild. Oh. <laughs> it was a wild night, but like not in a good way. So it doesn't have to be in a club context. Wow, my knee is so messed up. Like I kicked the ball fall and then I was like, wow, my leg rub up. Could I say like when I've had too much milk, it upsets my stomach, right? I run to the toilet and I'm like, wow, that yeah. toilet is rub up. My was rub up. Yeah. Wow. It can be even to describe a place. Like, oh. wow, so run down and like dirty. Just wow, rub up. Rub up. Oh. oh my god. You ready? Necking on. Necking on. It sounds a bit dirty. Okay, like a, like a, go for it. I don't know. You giving someone a hickey. Like, go on, neck on. No, no. no. <laughs> he was like, going for it in my neck. It doesn't have to necessarily oh, be your neck. Like, I use it on a sentence. Thomas was all over Stephanie last night. He was necking on her. Getting down mm -hmm. and dirty. Oh, he was like, yeah, Thomas was necking on that bird over there. Neck. That bird. Oh, sorry, that's another slang term. You so. can neck on a bird. <laughs> <laughs> a bird is a slang term for a woman. Oh, I know, like kissing, but very intensely until it gets a bit more than just It's like making out. Yeah, pretty much. Kissing her. Yes. <gasps> yeah. Really? Yeah. Like French kissing her? Oh, I know, because like the neck needs to move. <laughs> neck and... Oh, okay. What about necking on that bird though? <laughs> it's like the same theme. Just kidding. <laughs> sorry, what? Talk cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like no, no. talking about 
all that. No. no. I would think that this means talk rubbish. Because I would say, change. You talk rubbish, irrelevant, full of nonsense. Okay, I would say like the nonsense or rubbish definition of it is pretty right. Okay, let me use it in a sentence. Hey, you want to meet up and just talk cock? You what? <laughs> that would never come out of my mouth saying that somewhere. <laughs> is it just gossip? It can be. Can you talk cock in church? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I went to church, I was talking cock. No, no, that's crazy. <laughs> it's not like just not small talk. No. I have no idea. Talking nonsense. <laughs> it's just and a casual random. conversation. Yeah, yeah. But like, has no deep meaning. Next word for you is... That's it. POP! Ha. I'm feeling hurt. Oh. I've got it. I just feel bad and down and everything's falling apart. I wouldn't go that far. Do you want me to give you a sentence? Oh, yes. Godfrey and his mates went out. Oh, he didn't invite me. I'm well gutted. I'm so cut up. It's another way of being like really sad and disappointed. It can be applied to any situation. You could be like, oh, I went to Greg's and the steak bake sold out. I'm gutted. So it's like, it explains the uh, depth of Yeah, the depth of sadness. Yeah. yeah. We do have a similar one. It's called xian. Ooh. It's like, oh, xian. Really? It's like, the same. I, where's Godfrey xian? Work. Xian. Three, two, one. Dabao? Because of the last three letters, I'm thinking it's delicious. Because I, I think all bows are delicious. It does have to do something with food. Yeah, give me a sentence. Uh, I'm a bit lazy. I think I should just dabao. Does it mean you're ordering food? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Good guess. Takeaway. Yeah! Feeling lazy. Oh, so you get it delivered or something? Takeaway. Oh, where does it stem from? So it's kind of like a Chinese kind of slang. Tapao in Chinese means like they put it in a packet. So in Singapore, when we like take something away, we like put it in a packet for you or put it in a box. They give you the packet and then you take it away. Interestingly enough, uh -huh. in Singapore, some people do use this at the club. So they'll say, hey, okay, I'm gonna say it in a Singlish way. Hey, you tapao. Ah. <laughs> then they'll be like, yeah, I tapao. Yeah. What did you learn today? Did you learn anything new? I learned that you can neck a butt. I did like the necking. Oh, you do like necking on then. <laughs> Talking cock is the funniest thing I've heard all year. Do you think you're a talk cock kind of guy? No, no, I talk serious stuff. I love that. that was Look at that. Sharing each other's And talking cock. Literally.